Staying with security matters, the Senate has begun the amendment of the nation's Firearms Act 2004. The Senate, while debating on the bill to amend the act, says the new amendment will ensure the destruction of firearms illegally imported into the country or in the possession of individuals without valid licenses. Now, the bill, which passed a second reading on the floor of the Senate, also seeks to impose stiffer penalties for offenders of the act. The main aim of the proposed amendment is to curtail the proliferation of illegal arms and bring the existing law in line with the global best practices. The amendment will also effectively address some of the security challenges currently flagging Nigeria. Nigeria is one of the countries experiencing some of the most devastating efforts of the proliferation of illegal weapons as a result of spillover efforts of the crisis in Libya and Mali, as well as all resolved internal conflicts in different parts of the country, such as Northeast, Niger Delta, and other parts of the region. With this amendment, this nation will be able to curb the menace of insecurity that is now the bane of the problem in our country. Mr. President, this sort of amendment is what we need at this particular time to ensure that this country is safe again. However, Mr. President, I will urge that as we go through this, we look at the reasons for which this amendment was not assented to in the 8th Senate so that we don't make the same mistakes and this amendment is passed. We need this amendment like yesterday. The security situation would have been far better if we are able to control the proliferation of uh, firearms in the country. This bill, like uh, the sponsor mentioned, was passed in the 8th Senate and National Assembly, but there was no assent. Now that we have brought it back, when it will be referred to the committee, judiciary, human rights and legal matters, they should engage with the executive arm of government to see where the issue is, if that has not been done by the sponsor of the bill, so that we be on the same page. But I believe that there is no compromise for stiffer penalties for anyone caught with an illegal arm. The security situation can still be reversed once we continue to remain focused and remain committed.